Okay, so within uh, five minutes, I'm, I'm going to uh, give uh, some highlights of uh, history of collaboration of uh, Yandex and Yandex School of Data Analysis with CERN. So we were mostly uh, looking towards applying uh, machine learning methods and tools towards uh, natural science problem, and in this case, high energy physics problems. So we started with simple projects uh, in 2012. And uh, now, uh, last year, we became member, Yandex of Data Analysis became member of uh, two CERN uh, collaborations. Uh, and now we're working on quite uh, complicated data analysis top, uh, problems, uh, like uh, data storage optimization and optimization of uh, real-time event filtering. And um, on, on some outreach projects like uh, organizing Kaggle competition on uh, LHCB data, uh, which is going to finish uh, next week. Uh, so this is just an overview of, of the data, pro data flow that happens uh, from uh, detector at CERN uh, to, to publishing paper. And here you can see uh, what are the places to apply machine learning to, uh, like online filtration uh, that happens directly at the farm uh, that reduces data flow of uh, tens of millions of events per second uh, to uh, tens uh, 10,000 events per second and uh, the classification of the collected data. Uh, here is uh, just an example of challenges that uh, exist in the field uh, and, and uh, all those examples are relevant to machine learning problems. Uh, just one uh, one example that that uh, seems uh, kind of interesting. Imagine uh, so this is a snapshot of a single event that happened uh, among uh, I don't know how many billions uh, during the during the uh, data taking. Uh, so you see uh, pixels on the left side or on the right side uh, these uh, green boxes and blue boxes uh, that come from different calorimeters and the tracks of particles. So the t task is to try to identify a uh, certain structure in event uh, just to look at the pixels. Uh, um, so and another thing that is interesting is that problem in the uh, high energy physics is different from the problems statement in machine learning. Just take a look at the example if uh, there is a uh, just two examples, school X uh, want to discriminate between uh, healthy and infected people. So uh, we get a training sample uh, that signal is infected students from the previous year, uh, also uh, like similar to simulated data. So it's not relevant to what we have at the moment. And background, uh, which is healthy people around the city. Uh, and to, to see that the model is actually trying to pick healthy from, uh, from infected, uh, we need to check that the, the model is not biased towards picking uh, this year from pre previous year. Um, and, and another thing uh, is that uh, in, in a machine learning perspective, um, we look at the model that tries to predict a particular person if he is healthy or not. And in high energy physics, we try to differentiate between hypotheses, separate two hypotheses that the one hypothesis that everybody is uh, healthy or you don't need to put the school into quarantine mode or another hypothesis that uh, there is a, a certain amount of uh, infected people and, and you need to put a quarantine. The details you can find uh, described in the link below. Uh, that is um, part of the competition that is running at the moment, uh, finishing at the moment. Uh, so uh, there are certain events uh, that we are organizing uh, in, in cooperation with uh, people at CERN. Uh, for example, well, the, the first one is not, uh, we just participating in the data science uh, at, at LAC workshop. Another one is a workshop at NIPS. Uh, so if everybody is anybody is going to, to NIPS, uh, there will be a se separate workshop on applications of learning to experimental physics. Uh, uh, there is a short uh, track on machine learning in Imperial College, workshop on practical applications of machine learning in high energy physics in March in Zurich, uh, and summer school uh, next summer. 
Uh, so this is just for the reference, uh, the, the things that we're doing and collaborations we are working also at the moment. And uh, yeah, so the main idea for our uh, collaboration is to adapt machine learning tools to bring it to uh, science and to improve science eventually. So just for the reference, all this uh, information on the you can find on the slides and you can answer your questions at the poster. Thank you very much.